first few items on the agenda so we can just get right into the survey. Um, did everybody look through the survey? Yeah. Great. <laughs> well, a lot of it's pressed out and um, moved. Um, yeah. Yep. Yes, I do. Well, it would be so anyway. I have other okay, um, I have a thing I do, so if yeah. you guys are just wondering what we do. So perfect. Um so the first thing is the survey. And I, yeah. I come and say the first question I ask is why do you want to do the survey? Um, because like honestly, about 25% of the, the time that someone asks me for help with a survey, they don't really what they need to do is they're not going to get through a survey. So I just sort of go through these paces, even if you already say I need to go through a survey, right? So for example, at the library building committee, it was part of the process. So it was required by the um, Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners that we do a community survey to inform the entire plan. So mm -hmm. whether or not we wanted to do it, it didn't matter. We were going to do it. So you might have a similar directive. If the select board has said to you, do a survey, obviously you're going to do a survey. And I'm only asking because one of the things you need to think about when you do a survey is what are you going to do with the results? Mm -hmm. So I'll give you an example. At work, when at like, COVID was maybe going to be going away. Our CEO said, okay, we need to start thinking about getting back to work. But I don't know what that's going to look like. Are people going to be willing to come back to work? Are people not going to come back to work? People have moved in the pandemic. They're kind of used to it. So Allison, I need you to design me a survey that's, you know, finds out about people's thoughts about going back to work. So what I said to him is happy to do it. But what if everyone says they're never coming back to work? Are you willing to say, okay, great, we're going to be a completely yeah. remote workplace? Or yeah. two, if everyone says, great, I want to be in the office five days a week, our, our you know, company has grown since the pandemic, literally almost doubled. Are you going to rent bigger space so everyone you can come back? For us, yeah. Right. So I guess I just want you guys to reflect a little bit because I saw your choices. Yeah. Right. So clearly some of them will require another step. So the full, we're going to completely renovate this. We're committing as a town. We're going to pay the, whatever it was, $12 million or whatever yeah. it was, you know, to get that done. So it's okay if everyone, 100% of your folks say that because you, it's not like you can go out and do that tomorrow. However, on the flip side, if 100% of, of your respondents says knock the darn thing down. That's right. Then we can't go any further. This is it. And is that like how how is this going to be received by the select board and the rest of the town? Because if you do a survey, I feel very strongly that you need to put the results back out to the people that you ask, right? Yes. And I can show you what I what we put together for the library. Like the library, you know, sir, we did the survey, we put out like this is what we gave to the select board, gave to the general public. Mm -hmm. So if you as a committee are unwilling to consider any of those choices that are there, you should not put it out there. <laughs> they have to. You have to do a survey or you have to put those choices out there. We have to know what we don't have to do anything. Like well, no, Alan, this was already there. there. I'm not trying to talk you out of it. I'm just trying to get you to think, think, like, think this through. We have to know what the town, the residents of the town of Hadley feel. Right. And I, I, you know, I, I, I see your point 100%. And as a committee for this building, you know, to me, it, it makes no sense to um, either, you know, leave options off the table or, you know, only give them options that, you know, are, mm. are palatable to, to this committee. Right. So it's kind of, right. you know, I, I, I don't want to, um, you know, I, I wouldn't want to give the, the townspeople the impression that there are only a certain amount of options. I mean, in my opinion, it's limitless what can happen. It can either stand for eternity or it can be gone tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 
So, I mean, in reality, you know, something could happen you know, to the building. Well, yes, but you can't like, you can't anticipate all those things. And I think you guys have done a good job of saying these are, I agree, there's limited possibility, but people can't comprehend on that and they can't vote on that. Before to so I think finish it. <laughs> you, you gave the, a good, you know, selection of things that, you know, can be done just the same way at the library. We said, these are the sites that we are considering. These are the ones that can fit it and it are town owned. So here are our five choices, right? So same thing, you've limited the choices. Well, I was involved with the building in North Amherst and uh, historical commission. And we put it before town meeting and town meeting said, yes, we want to have it preserved. So the site board then went for, forward with that. I recall that there was a referendum on that building and the town board was okay to demolish it if they couldn't sell it. No, that was, diff that was before that. Yeah. So and then it brought was brought before town meeting and town meeting voted to keep right, it. Well let's uh, let's let Allison finish her. Well, I mean, all these are relevant points in just saying that like here in Hadley, it seems like people can disregard the results and surveys, right? I'm just I don't I you know I'm supporting what you guys are trying to do. You're trying to do it uh, you know thoughtfully and respectfully. I just don't want you guys to get into a situation where you're now faced with having to present results that you aren't comfortable with. But as long as you're like, okay with that, and you feel personally, I'm not trying to talk you out of the survey. I think if I were in your shoes, I'd do it. But I just feel like I want you to make sure that you're not going to end up in a situation that you're now I'm not going to, if, 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 so, if they vote to demolish the building, I'm not going to jump off the bridge. Well, I'm not I, I'm, that. You know, I'm, Gee, I, 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 <laughs> I know it seems like it, but um, I, I, I'm not going to tie yourself to the building. Yeah, I'm not, not going to go. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll all tie ourselves to the building. Okay. Uh, but I, I certainly, you know, I, I see your point and, and uh, you know, certainly would uh, you know, curtail the options a little bit. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I, again, I don't want to. Um, I, I have a question. Has the select board seen this survey? They haven't seen the revisions. Have they seen the original one? The version of it way back in you know, the wild. Wow. All right. So I think that's one of the things we have to do. Okay. So you, so you, you've basically you've convinced me that you're convinced we should do a survey, right? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about doing it. So when we did the library survey, it was a combination of you know, we put it online and we tried to track things down by paper. The vast majority of our responses came in online. Mm -hmm vast majority, um, with the exception of one group, which was Hopkins, because part of what the MBLC wanted us to do is find out what young people wanted mm -hmm. at the library. Uh -huh. So we took, a, we basically asked teachers, can you administer this in your classroom? It was super easy. They passed it out. They collected it for us. We picked up like a set, but that was the exception. Um, I don't know. You might want to reach out to the housing committee and see what proportion of their surveys have come in, uh, paper versus um you know, online, just because a lot of the hard work of the survey, which you probably know, having done this in your life, is chasing paper, right? So if we do, uh, you know, a, an option, you have to have a way to create the paper, distribute the paper, collect the paper, and enter the paper. So I can handle the entering of the paper. If you get tons, I can get like a teenager to do it. Uh, they can use it as community service hours. I, I did ask why I would, um how that was going yeah. and what they were doing. I did not ask her how many have gotten back yet. But yep. what they're doing is uh, um, on the hard copies, yep. they're entering it into the uh, into the template of the survey. So they have online responses and then they're taking the hard copy and they're, you know, they're entering them online. Yeah, the enter part is that I'm not concerned with. Yeah. It's more of, do we have a venue for distribution paper? Like, do you want any paper, right? So if the, Housing um, committee says we're getting one percent of our responses via paper. Yeah, and I, don't, I, I don't know yeah. what percentage they're getting back. Right. That would be the best comparison. The library got almost none on paper, like you know, except for the Hopkins. It was almost all on. And you, yeah, you had nice. a full um all the emails of the citizens and then and the no. So what we did is so yep, our <laughs> distribution method was a couple. We posted it on the library website. Library also has a Facebook, um, so we posted it there. We we have a, like a list of folks that were 
already linked up to the library for some reason, right? Like they had signed up to receive information from Luna about children's programming, or they were part of the friends of the library, mm -hmm. or they had, um, you know, we had already been doing things that we've said, do you want to receive updates about the building committee? So we already had kind of a list going. Yeah. We also okay. used the reverse 911 um, or whatever they call it in town, like the town blast. So we'd yeah. say, hey, this, and the, I know that the housing survey did that because that's how I saw the housing survey and took it myself. So what, what did you say? We said, said, essentially, the library is doing this as part of their long range planning. Um, you know, we soliciting responses. Please click here, basically. What, what was that put on? The town reverse 911, the like town blast. Oh, the town blast. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like when you get a text message. Yeah. Know, yeah. I mean, it, regardless of whether it's on any kind of plan, isn't this like by default long range planning? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes. And you would, so you, I'm just kind of tossing ideas out there. Of and how we, to do this. Yeah. yeah. And so we, we clearly we'd have to like come up with the right wording for all of this. <laughs> right. I'm really trying to understand right now, do you want to do paper? So, because if you do paper, there's costs involved, right? Of the printing. Mm -hmm. There's environmental costs. So I don't know if that weighs into your decision. And then there's also, you know, somebody <laughs> has to be the collection mechanism. No one's going to put it through the mail. I don't mind, you know, this committee. I mean, I think everybody in this committee would be happy to, to converge and collect and mm -hmm. compile yeah. and enter the data. Sure. I'm not worried about the entry. I'm worried about the, where do you, so I'm going to. Yeah. Well, one thing, the library had a whole bunch of publicity yes. even before you did Correct. this survey. So maybe we should look into that. Yeah, I think, you know, without a doubt, we should have, a, you know, not that they're the best, but at least the Gazette, you know, have some reach out. Yeah, to the, the senior, the senior newsletter. Senior well, you're newsletter. not old enough, but I, I mean, it, um, in regards to the survey, do you think that there would be, I mean, I know that I got my housing survey and the little QR code came in the mail. Mm -hmm. Could we do that with the Gazette? I don't know. Uh, I can't I don't answer that question. So. I don't think so. But uh, didn't didn't we hear that that got limited response? Yeah, I didn't respond to that. <laughs> uh, You're going to be on this committee. <laughs> well, so yeah, it was you, in our water bill or something. Yeah, so that's no. a question. When does the next water bill come out? And do you want to try to get on the water? Well, bill? I thought we heard that that you don't get very good responses from that. Didn't I read that somewhere? Uh, yeah, perhaps you did. I'm not sure. I think it's true. I mean, the, you don't get good responses any, from anybody. Uh, we're lucky if we get 10%. Well, it sounds like the library got a lot. That's so, how I found out about this today, is when I received it in the mail. Right. Um, I mean, personally, I feel like we should post, uh, or we should have hard copies of uh, the senior center? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the library. And the library. And I don't know if it's really town to hall. Do people go to town hall? <laughs> Maybe, but we could we could certainly do poster the QR codes on there. So but we gotta find out whether we can do, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I reached out I do papers. <laughs> yeah. So if you have paper and having uh, you know, just a limited you know, places and just have those same places be the collection point, right? So if you mm -hmm. find out if that's okay, that's great. And then someone just has to collect them and um, yeah, you know, to deal with. Yeah, that. the library ha has a bunch of followers. Russell School doesn't have any. Except Correct. The people in this room. Correct. So you already had an audience. Correct. And and people who would respond. Yes. What about the historical society? Do they do mailings or anything like that? They have an email list. Yeah, if they have an email list, yeah, just I, ask them. Mailing, mailings. The two costs to doing this one is, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of costs, but the two big ones are print, mm -hmm. printing, right? The survey, okay? right. And also mailing, okay? Yeah. yeah, I don't think we have well, we have our budget right now is zero, as far yeah. as I know. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, we could get these printed. I mean, I got a point of print that it'll print. You know, I, I, I'm gonna get that sucker down to one page for you, one yeah. page front and yeah, back. That's right. That's exactly right. As much as I'd like to see more, you know, history and, and bluff up the story of the whole thing, it's just going to be too. Well, I think we need a little bit. We need some. Sure. You have to describe the options. Otherwise, people won't know what the hell is. Correct. That's right. So, yeah. I don't, we, but we, one, but page, one page. We only need one yeah. page. We can get everything you need in one yeah, page. We can make it happen. Wow, that's, yeah. that's, a, that's a fine thing. It says one, two, but, three. Um, mailing, I would say that would be the lowest. <laughs> 
thing to do because of the cost. Yeah. Printing, we could print hard copies. We could find one way or another, we could print them out. But the bit, not to me, what I think the most effort should be getting it online and sending the link to the online thing by email mm -hmm. from various organizations. And then we'll reach the widest. Uh, I family. think that's where you'll get the most. Yeah, yeah. Get the my, only, my only concern is that, and maybe the housing, the senior center could advise us on this, is a lot of people, especially, I don't want to be ageist, but a lot of people in town who are older, they don't get on a computer. But you can right. sit there. So another way that, that um, you can do it is you can, you know, you guys, or you can have deputies, like literally sit there in the senior center. Is there a big social hour? Sit there with right. your laptop and pull the survey up. It's an anonymous survey. So you can just say, have you taken your uh, yeah. Russell School oh, survey good. yet? That's a good nope. thing. Do you have five minutes now? I mean, literally, yeah, if the correct. questions are remain as you have it, yeah. especially once we eliminate a lot of the text, I'm sorry to say, but no one's going to read all of the text. I, <laughs> I like history. I thought it was interesting, but I'm just being honest. There's a different place for the text that people can read. Right. But once you eliminate all that, it's going to take you five minutes to take that survey. Right. And it's not a big burden. Do you know, you yeah. know, Does anybody have a copy of the, of the housing survey? I don't. I thought I brought it. No, but it's probably you need to find it on one Do you want um, a picture or not? And they think it's might not what it. I want. It is what and I. What are you recommending? I think that people don't necessarily know what the Russell School is. Yeah, so I would. I, I would vote for trying to keep the picture if we can. Maybe the first paragraph. Well, so no, in your opinion, the best. You know, the we're going to get the best response from a, uh, a direct email. Direct email or an indirect email, like doing the you know the, the water bill thing. No, no, no. The d indirect, like the the reverse nine one one. Hey, yep. everyone in town. Here's the message from town hall. Right. The Russell School survey is now open. Blah blah blah. Some text. Take it. You, we our own you with, that's uh, getting there next. If we send something <laughs> with the water belt, it's not going to be the survey. It's going to be a link to the survey. We could, or we could do both. We yeah. could have a. I think on the library one, we had the survey. It said if you'd prefer to take it online, here's the URL. We could also say there was no QR code. Yeah, we can say if you prefer to do it as a hard copy, contact, you know, whatever, pick it up at the library. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yep. we can do that. You could offer the option. Yes. But encourage people to get follow the link, yep. get online, yep. and do it. That correct. That seems clean and it reduces the amount of paper that you it for sure yeah. does. Yeah. So within your survey for the library. Mm -hmm. Were I mean, did you have a percentage that had to be discarded because we're not on residents? We didn't check. Didn't even check. No. Nope. How can you check? It's an anonymous survey. <laughs> it's anonymous, right? It's an anonymous survey. Or you could do it twice. Right. So this, like this, you, this came up, and I will tell you that. And you did survey research, so you tell me what your experience has been. People don't have time to stuff the ballot box. People just don't have time. <laughs> I don't care what Trump says. People don't have time or the inclination. <laughs> well, and to this stuff, is just a building. It's well, not to stuff the you know, balance. Having <laughs> housing authority, public housing survey mm -hmm. says on their kind of their front page says it will take ten minutes to complete. Please, please respond only if you live in Adam. Yeah, so they were saying. Yeah, but they're not going to enforce that. No. There's no way to enforce. Correct. That. And you say this is a survey for Hadley residents only. And there's a survey available online at the link. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Yeah, I I mean, I just ask because I don't I don't think I mean if Hadley owns the building, mm -hmm. but Hadley's not the only one that would benefit from saving it. I oh, mean no, the, no, no, the, no. the I mean the all of New England <clears throat> at the very least benefits from saving this building. It's gonna get used in the future. And you know, the future is huge. But unless somebody's forwarding it to, you know, someone up in New Hampshire, right. they, when would they even see the survey? Right. I understand. Yeah. I just, you know. I, yes. Uh, yes. I and like could you get people from other right. communities? For sure. But people get hit with so much stuff. I think unless you are have any best vested interest. I, I, I don't think you get hung up on that point. I no, I'm not. Know. I just, you know, throwing that out there. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing you can yeah. do about yeah. it. I mean, yeah. if someone says, well, how do you, how are you going to guarantee that only having you, so you can't guarantee it. That's I mean, correct. They have just one bit right. of planning for it. That's right. So this is curiosity. Yeah, this is pretty much how, how it is. And you can't even, 
uh, you know, use IP addresses anymore because right. so many people use VPNs. If you looked at my computer, my computer tells you that I'm sitting and in Virginia. If Dan, if Dan votes 100 times, uh, fills out 100 surveys, more power to more power you. To you. you, can't, you know, <laughs> you really can't prevent it. So these are things that are just going to take out the It shakes out of the statistics. Okay. Yeah, the chances are pretty slim. Okay. All right. So well, I, you know, we should get going on this though, because some people go to Florida or wherever, you know, there's snow buddies or Arizona. Yeah. Or Arizona. So uh, things move so slow. I'm really, I mean, honestly, I'm surprised that these three new buildings went up so quickly, especially when, you know, the pandemic is coming on and there was a bunch of, you know, elections, all kinds of stuff was happening. Really, really surprised that the town actually got these buildings up. I was so surprised. Lincoln split. I mean, yeah. how many years did it take? Yeah, but you know, they had a driving factor, right? The library had a certain deadline. If they didn't yeah. do it by X, they wouldn't get the money. Right. But the yeah. library wasn't even in the mix at first. No, it? but the but it was the domino that you right. know. Then it this was. had to move. Then it this was. had to move, and then they wanted in. So right. the fact that that you know you were able to get. That well, maybe they'll do the same. People's teeth. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm hearing that you want to do both paper and um, and electronic, mm -hmm. which is fine. Um, and that you guys will handle the logistics of the paper, the distribution, and the collection. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to do the entry because I, I don't think it's going to be that huge. If it turns out ah, to be huge, <laughs> well, no, it's not <laughs> you. It's just you know, it's just the modern times. Yeah. And if it is huge. And I don't feel like doing it or can't do it. Like there, we can just get community service between Dan and myself. We got four teenagers, so yeah. so, so let's talk about the mechanics of the online survey. I mean, yes, I mean mm -hmm. the, the housing, the plan board when it did theirs the long term the survey. Yep, and uh, I know I, I'm familiar with that. I've yep, seen that. it's totally fine I, to use survey yeah, monkey. I priced I, it out for you. Use that for ours. So I used it for the library. Um, so. Uh, at work, I use Qualtrics. Um, it's cleaner to, for you guys to use your own instance of something. There's never any like question um, about legitimacy or anything like that. So uh, what you should do, the first step will be to generate your own email address because I don't want it coming from my email. It's not my survey. It's not your survey. Mm -hmm. um, you know, create something generic for free on Gmail, like stayrussellschool.com. Yeah, like, you know, just, school, yeah. yeah. Um, and so once you have that, then we can sign you up for a, a survey monkey. So I did pull up some things. I'm sorry that I'm standing here, like I don't mean to be lecturing you, but I uh, did pull up some things and I thought we'd worth it in real time your survey. But it's I pulled oh, up great. the pricing for the um, survey monkey. I'm bringing my computer to remember that it exists. Um, the cheapest that you're going to get is to do it all within one month for $99. So the that's pretty cheap. The basic uh the basic thing is $99. You get a thousand mm -hmm. responses, you can get everything you want. I'm not sure if I can put that much on there, uh, but I can investigate it. So here it is your here are your pricing model. And so you just, I would send you the link. I don't know what all this stuff is. I, I guess I don't understand. What are these three prices? These are the three like options for survey for survey monkey to do the survey. So we have like an online software to do it. It's just super easy to use. It is. I mean, I've done a bunch of you know, and they come in like, oh, survey awesome. Yeah, I mean, and you can do it for you can do it for free, but you just don't get that many um, responses, and you can't do a lot of stuff with your uh, with your survey. Like you couldn't add pictures, you couldn't do this and that. And you said you used the ninety nine dollars. Yeah, if there's no, there's you guys aren't doing anything super fancy. You don't, you're not anticipating fifty thousand responses. You're not asking Survey Monkey to randomly choose you a selection of middle aged women who live in the right. Midwest. And you're right. not asking the sub questions like if you answer yes here, you then no, well, you can have supply, but yeah, we're not asking for supply. At least as the survey looks now. Um, so what on the average the, the annual three to a month, but that is you, you have to sign up for a year. Correct. And you pay three hundred and eighty. Okay. So it averages out to thirty two thousand. Yeah. So 
So the most economical, cheapest is that. Yeah, because you're not going to have a Sunday appeal for your long, right? So I think at the library, we, we had it three months. So we, we wanted to give ourselves another cushion mm -hmm. if we didn't know. So if you sign up for 99 a month, mm -hmm. then you, you, could keep, you could keep it rolling. You could pay yeah. another 99, right? Yes. It's all, yes. I don't think we're getting it three months. No, no, and you don't have to sign up. You could sign up and then we were done. We just cancel it. So I think I'm just telling you how much it cost. Oh, yeah. It was like, it was, I think it was like, you know, it was cheaper than that. I think it was 75 dollars So there's we, no constraint on the number of questions. Yep. Uh, yeah. Is there a way to, to, you know, say you've had the survey monkey up and run? Is there a way of advertising? Does that direct people that? Like, you know, I mean, I know that's a good that question, but yeah. is there a way? Yes, in theory, yes. Okay. Yeah, I, to be honest with you, um, getting something in the exact might be a good idea, but I would put this link on things like, you know, you can have we. Yeah, exactly. Uh, all the websites that people, Facebook, yeah. all the email uh, that we can get, to, to be, uh, like maybe the friends of the library. Be, uh, well, your own email, don't yeah. underestimate yeah, the power of the direct yeah. ask. If yeah. you all right. collectively just email it to everybody you were emailed out so yeah. that you know it's from Hadley. In my opinion, like Gmail, I have a whole thing that just says Hadley resident. So anyone that I know, that's from Hadley, I stick it in there, and then yeah. when I have to email somebody yeah. out, I say, hey guys, there's this thing, do this. Yeah. Like, register for Don't Forget to Vote, right? Like, so I'll just send out a little yeah. email. Hey, everyone, don't forget to vote today. Blah, blah, blah. And we you to your list. You know, I'm going to send it out to you, right? But in my list and your list, everyone's listening. Yeah, I think that's you can put it on time of something as well. So, my nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I'll let them out this one. Yeah. Okay. No Thank you. Bye. Uh, yes, to collect the collective yeah, power. I know about two people in Hadley, that's all. Well, that's two people we didn't have before. So I'm really they, and they get some children. My okay. two neighbors. And then they <laughs> send it to you. So don't underestimate yeah. the direct ask. I think amongst you, you will know a lot of people that the direct, you know, thing. Lots of venues to do this. But first step is get your email. I will send this to who who's going to be in charge of that email. Who's like, okay, Courtney, I'll send you this. You should, once you get the email and you have the login, I recommend, I'm not going to tell you passwords, I recommend you give me the login and password yeah. because you don't want to get questions about this survey. Hey, I put this survey, but I think, I'm not sure I put the survey or not. Like, what should I do? You don't want to do that. Okay. So, how do you prevent that? I'm happy to do all that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So she'll have access to the email as well, and she can read through. Yeah, I'm just going to oh, okay. And then she says something about password. Yeah. Then you change the password. So mm -hmm. I'll have I'll, I'll have access to all your emails for the duration of the survey. Okay, the, the password is something for us to use, not for some. We other people don't need a password. No, no. only just, you. This is the password for the email address. Gmail address. Uh, just for the email address that yeah. set up for Russell School. Okay. You're going to yeah. make a Gmail account. And every Gmail account has a password. I'm just recommending that you share it with me for the duration of the survey. Yeah, so you don't have to field survey questions. If you want to, you can knock yourselves out. I don't care. <laughs> but I mean, there could be like there could be questions about the survey. If someone says, "Hey, how can I help?" I'll be like, "Hey, Courtney, if someone wants to help, you can help." But it's like, um, I I don't know what's playing. Oh, I tried to take this; it's not working. <laughs> you know, maybe it's something like, oh, are you? Sounds like me. <laughs> so, so, what analysis? So, are you saying, let's say the survey's out there online, you start getting results back. Yep. Uh, we get higher copies to figure some way of yep. entering the data or whatever. We do that at the very end. Yeah, without the, but okay. So you're you say you're willing to take that responses that are coming in. And so the survey might get the uh, collate or compile the results. Yeah, so they can give results. So I'll show you what we have for the library. For the library, I put together this basically a one page here. I and mean, we had more questions, right? But I yeah. put together like, uh, this is, I don't know, I can never look at the slide very well. I can't show you the better. You know, I put together these are all questions and it's sort of easy to digest. Do you like, produce that? Yeah. Or you you know, you know, this is like super easy. You just, you know, it looks impressive, but it's really not that difficult. Um, so it's easy for to say. Yeah, once you know what you're doing, you yeah. just put it together, right? Yeah. So, um, so we put this together. This is what we then 
pushed out to the tap. We then used the reverse email. Thank you very much. Here's the results. You know, here we have a response rate you can see down here. How many people, you know, this is going to see we did it from June to August. It was open. We had 364 responses, blah, 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 right? So same sort of thing. Yours is a much simpler survey. You can have this many things. So, so you, your table, you get done with, they have like each option. Uh, exactly. How many strongly supported on that? Yeah, right. and it would right. be like, you know, yeah. take uh, bar, right. bar graphs. Yes. However, okay. Exactly. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Same thing. Like that's, a, yeah. that's a really great way to do it. This is when we did it. This is how many people took it. Blah 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 blah. Lovely. So yeah, that's what you would have, and then you can share that and you can yeah. do whatever you want with it. Yeah. There's yours. This is up on our website. I pulled all I did is do the public library immediate survey. Okay. Love it. So the results are still on it, work. I just picked it up right now. Yep. <laughs> so what what do you all think about one of the questions on the survey being, you know, would you consider being involved or joining the committee? Oh, sure. It's a great idea. Yeah. So that I was going to ask exactly that. Like, do you want a question at the end to say something like, do you want to be on our, you know, uh, email mm -hmm. this this way you can gather updates do you want to help in any way do you, like you know some sort of question make a donation yeah you got this up both in the last the last sentence in the actual survey not this uh introduction all, all the way to gone gone to gone right there so right in there please provide any other ideas about blah, blah, blah. you could also say or and or um, if you will wish to be involved in or get updates, we could add some language about that, right? Oh, it's um, oh, you can't do it. Oh, you might not have. Um, I just say that so. They have on the survey now. You don't need to. If on the online survey, would there be a place for them to enter this stuff? Like email, yeah, but, name, yeah blah, blah, blah. like a yep. text block or something yep. like that. Yep. Cool, great. Yeah, because I, I mean, when this committee was formed, it, you know, having a bad, uh, they just really don't know how to reach people. You know, it's the committees that do the work that actually reach out to the people. The select board is really, they're bad at trying to get, you know, they'll put it in the Gazette. She said, who reads news? Who even buys newspapers anymore? They don't, even, I they don't even print them around here anymore. Gazette's moved to Auburn. It's terrible paper too. So, so Allison, just so I understand this, so if somebody's looking at this online, and there'll be uh, a place for them to say "farm support" or whatever they do it, and then up, put, which is like a check mark almost, but uh, in the survey itself, but on that last bit where they have to write contact information, or if they want to give us any other thoughts and comments, they'll be able to just. To be a block where they can yeah. just type it in. Yeah. And then make you like a word file. So okay. every yeah. like you would see all every single person's responses. You can choose to share them or not. But on here, like on this, you would I would give you uh like a little word file. You've seen the word files, right? Where the 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 number of the times that someone says the word makes it bigger or and it like arranges all the words so they all come together and tell you what are people saying about that. Yeah, I'm just I'm just thinking about the people who are doing the survey, filling yeah, the survey out. Yeah, it's all it's user friendly enough for them to get that yeah. stuff in. You know, it's not like you have to make sure we leave some space with all the principal survey so people have enough. Right. Time. Right. Yes. Um, okay. So so now we have the we're doing the survey, we're doing it electronically in paper. You guys are gonna handle the paper distribution. After we talk about the instrument itself, I'm going to try to see can I get that instrument in like an actual like a survey looking thing, yeah, um, on paper for you, Great. and it, you know then I'll turn it over to you. And then once we have our final, we have to have the questions the same on paper and online. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once we have the survey monkey, you know, subscription, I'll enter it online and you guys will just preview it. I'll send you like a preview link and you'll look it over and say, does this look right? And then I'll send ask your questions and, you know, hijack our, our process. <laughs> and then we will 
we can find out where we make sense, right? So if somebody here has to reach out to Jennifer, what if you can tell me, is Jennifer still on me? Yeah, yeah. Or do, do something else. Yeah. Okay. And just ask about using the, yeah. the time box. Right? Yeah, right. I, I know that when I talked to Jennifer way back when, mm -hmm. she said, uh, she actually said, we can help you with the survey. Perfect. Okay. Uh, oh, so do they have a system? No, they don't. She just said that. Yeah, okay. that. Uh, but there was a willingness to, yeah, we'll help get it out. Right. Perfect. So, so I'm thinking the top, put it on the town blast on the. Yeah. On the website for the municipal building committee and the whatever, you know, uh, you don't have a site on the other side. Yeah, that, that comes like, oh, oh, we'll continue to add things. Right, right. Uh, more. Yeah, the, the housing survey, not a ticket. When you go on the town website, yeah. I think the, one of the first pages talks about the, filling out the survey, the housing survey. Yeah. So they figured out a way of getting it out. I don't think too many people use that website. But it should be on there anyway. I think the town blast is a better way, uh, the, like the, the reverse 911 <laughs> thing. And I will All right. So now I'm going to take you through the survey. Well, I, want, I have a question here. I, I'm looking at it, and there is a, there are a lot of words. But if somebody wants to know more about the building, could we say at the oh, end, yeah. if you're interested in more yeah. information, please? So we could have that, if we're going to tear that down, we could have the original of it that talks more about the history. And, yeah, yeah. And we first could have that years. as a separate place to go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we have a couple of options. So it is too many words. Not the description of what to do. I think it's important, those the descriptions, these are the five things. These are wordy. Stabilize the building. Sell to nonprofit. Like, this is wordy, but I think it's important to have those words said. So I'm not suggesting that you cut any of those down. I'm suggesting that you cut this down. And this is not what we're going to do tonight. This I'm going to leave to you because you guys are wedded to these words, not me. I think that we should... You know, if, if I can put a picture on the survey, I will definitely do so. And then I think it would be great to have a very brief, you know, this is the Russell survey built in blah, blah, blah. blah. You know, it is now unusable. I'm just making yeah, you're right, right. You know, yeah. we have, you know, we're the two, two paragraphs instead of five. Yeah, or even one. We, yeah. You know, <laughs> we have identified some things. We are seeking community interest. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then down below for more information on the Russell School, yep. please click here, yep. um, etc. Right? Yeah. So and all this is great. Some of these things I didn't even know. Um, and I have known Dan and Alan forever, and some of these things I didn't know. <laughs> so now I do. Well, nobody listens to me anyway, so you <laughs> never know. Um, all right. So that's your job to, you know, I think like this. This is great. It tells you why you're doing the survey. Help narrow down the options to pursue, right? So if that's really what's going to happen with this, then what you're doing is you're taking these five things and you're trying to narrow them down. Maybe you can't. Maybe 25 pursue, 20 percent of everyone says everything. You can't narrow it down, but at least try to narrow it down, right? All right. So I, I don't suggest that you. Do you change any of these words? But if you want to change them, that's fine. Just tell me. Are you talking? Are we into the options? Yeah, into the options. Renovate. Scroll down a little bit because I want to see what the heading is. Where we are, what page? Renovate, stabilize, lease, sell, demolish. That, that, in my in my version, it says possible options for the rest of the school building. That's the heading. Go, yeah, go, no, so go the I, other way. I mean, if it's the edit, go the other way. No, 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 no. Go the other way. Oh, I see. That's the other way. Keep That's, going, keep well, going, keep going. It doesn't matter. I know, I just want to see where we are. No. What happened to the heading? I don't know. This is what so I the know. heading says currently we have identified five major options for the Russell School, which are summarized below. So I made edits yesterday. Oh, you took that out. Well, it doesn't matter anything. Yeah, okay. It's not going to look like this. Yeah. I'm going to take all this and I'm going to put it into survey format, but I'm trying to get what I need so that I can do it. Yep. So I think we should have. <laughs> a little, and I'll put this additional heading like for each of the five things, we're going to ask you about your level of support, right? So we kind of tell yeah. the people, we try yeah. to train them yeah. before they read the things. Yeah. So then they read through each one of these things, which is a lot of reading, but I think they can do it. And then we're <laughs> going to give them a matrix that says, 
So it's gonna look like a, you know, inserts table. Mm -hmm. so, it's such a weird document. I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna do this. No best here document. It's not really even soft. Yeah, I think it's just transferring from Google Docs to Word can um, complicate things. So if I did it would be something like this. Um uh, <laughs> So it would be question one, two, three, four, five on them. Right. So this is uh, renovates. Oh, uh, good. Yep. I know this. I can't remember what you're on. Yeah, stabilize the second one. Yeah. Right. Lease sell the mall. Right. Lease sell is the fourth. Yeah. And the fourth, and the demo is the thing. Right. Yeah, right. So in the end, here's all the things, and then weigh in on this, right? So I'm, I'm going to, like, in my survey mode, I'm going to try to get everything on one page so they can refer back what is sub, okay, what is least, what, is, you know, so yeah. they can see, and then they're just going to check. So, so that, that allows you to save space in that right. matrix yeah. one. Right. Oh, there actually there are eight, there are actually eight uh, options, but we may want to reduce them some further, but. Any, but nevertheless, well, I that, have only has five. well, so towards the bottom, it has like so for leasing, we could lease to a nonprofit or we could lease to a four. Uh, yeah, we, 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 we just like some dice it a little bit. Yeah, oh, uh, I see. Well, does it matter? It doesn't matter. Would you do anything different if you're leasing to a nonprofit versus leasing to a like what's your next step? Right. So but if you get somebody to a nonprofit, they're going to be able to apply for. Tax exempt status. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I mean, I mean, you could combine that. I guess that has a. a well, that I guess further down the road. I guess. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, in the, in the bigger picture, yes, it matters. But in the, in the immediate, if it doesn't matter in the immediate, then don't ask. Them. Yeah. Just say, That's do we want to lease it? Do we want to sell it? Do we want to well, sell, I guess the, sell I, the land? Yeah, just, but I think that. I think we want to keep it. I think our assumption is maybe we're wrong here, is that some people would support leasing it or selling it to a nonprofit, but they would not support selling it or leasing it to a private entity. Uh, leasing, I think they would. You could probably combine uh, because you're not giving up the building or the land, but on sell, sell, selling it, that might make a difference. But I, I, I don't know. Whatever you think, it depends on how much how we have to how much we have to squash this uh, down. That's right. I can I can add that. I see. So you have both. You have both um, things. You know, you've got lease to private, lease to nonprofit, sell to private, sell to nonprofit, demolish, keep land, demolish, sell. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, we can add those options. That's, that's yeah. So I think there's a total of eight. Yeah. Uh, and there's also a, a a general one which says. Uh, how important it uh, yeah, is. That's to, to, yeah, I'm just going to talk you through okay, good. because this, we would ask this question first, right? So this is the state. This is the state. Yeah. Ask the standard question. Then they would read all of your options. This, this stuff. Yeah. And yeah. then we would ask them to weigh in by giving them this matrix, which yeah. we will be standard, right? And I don't know that we even need that first question because based on their answers, we're going to, that's going to okay. answer that first question. Right, because if they say they want to, if they say they want to demolish it, that it's not really important for them to. Well, that's not, yeah, but that's not that's going to be a subset. Of, we, you might have a complete divergence of opinion about what to do with the building. Yeah, but it's good to know that eighty percent of the people in town think it's important to preserve it, or not. You know, twenty percent. Twenty percent. I mean, yeah. I mean that some should be pointed out somewhere in the survey that you know to to. To renovate the building would would cause your taxes to go up. To preserve it, we would use CPA money, but your taxes ne wouldn't necessarily go up if we keep the you know. And I think you have like maybe I just understand how this works. So maybe when I was reading it, I was like, oh god, yeah, I got this. Like I'll read it through again. 
Yeah, um, that's, that's, because you're a, a citizen. I'm familiar with this. I'm familiar, you're going to be yeah. the kind of person who's going to be maybe interested enough in the spirit, but you don't know all the Correct. work that's been done. So if you read to say, this doesn't make sense to me, why is this a choice? Yeah. That's great feedback for us. And, right, and maybe you have a couple others, like yeah. people who have their spouses or whatever look at it, you know, just yeah. to get another yeah. eye to say, do you understand what this means? Do you need more information? Because we're going to be tearing stuff down. Yeah. So have we pared it down too much versus is it easy to use? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And and actually, this is just the first step. The select board has to approve it. Yeah. So uh, they may right. and that was say the forget of- about yeah. the leasing to a nonprofit or... Right, so there's, you know, they say that. There, there's going to be a lot of extra messaging, right? We're just like, here's the survey, then we have to say what messaging do you use in an email? What messaging do you use on a reverse yeah, one? Because we have more space on an email. You yeah. can put more space. Right? That's what we can put in the email as opposed yeah. to the survey. But I thought uh, when we were putting this, when I was putting this together, usually I thought it was important to, I thought it was important to explain, I'll give examples of each yeah. option. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, that right. no, I'm using yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm looking and, not to take this out. But right. Okay. Yes. I'm looking to take all the then we the, the page three. Yeah. Our, um, not that I don't like it. I just feel like you can read it. They're gonna click out. Yeah. If you don't oh, the first it, page. Yeah. yeah. If you don't first click out, yeah. I think we can cut that by the two paragraphs. Yeah, so we're gonna cut that. So I have a question about the matrix. Yeah. Um, do you think it makes sense to do like a ranked choice voting? I, that, yeah, let's say a little bit. Okay, so that was your question here. Yeah, and so I'll tell you what I have found if I just ask the same series of questions like, do you support this? Yes, no, or rank these things in right. rent, right? So there's a couple of different options. I think what you have here is actually the best. This is what I get. You get the most information from this. Because if you rank it one, two, three, you don't really know if you support these things. I hate all these things. Yeah. So I'm ranking okay. demolition number one. Then I just I'm like, what are I going to question these things? Yeah. Because okay. I don't, I have no opinion. I just don't support these things. They're all equally ranked. You don't yeah. give some place, you don't give it people a place to go. If you don't give someone a place to go in a survey, then they they feel like I don't know how to do this. Yeah. Well, let's say this person wants, but Joyce is going to fill out the survey. Yep. She's going to say, I strongly support them demol- demolishing the building. Right. And then she'll, she, she'll answer the other not ones, not support, them, not support, not support. But now you've collected information yeah, right. on it, and yeah. the information is correct, right, and you know all the other things are inside. Yeah. Right. But somebody who strongly supports demolition and doesn't support might moderately support That's right. some other option. That's right. I want to I want to pray. And if I want to demolish it because you have two different nuances of mom, you know, then you can yeah. do more. Like she wants to sell it to keep the land, and other people might want to sell it in and uh, give it away. Yeah. Yeah. So this gives the this gives you the most data from asking the same question. Well, so I don't, that's addressing your rent question. I don't think we should send it to people that want to demolish. <laughs> <laughs> well, Carol, remember, you're the one who said we gotta re- eliminate the bias that we had in the original text. So we <laughs> well, well, yeah, we did have yeah, a bias. So we right. So we, 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 but we have a bias towards um not demolishing it, then right. that we have to be fair and open, and I think the sort of array has written. Yeah, it's it's funny, I, would, I would, I wouldn't want to give people limited options so they can't, you know, they can't. Vote I know, I know, it's just joking. Uh, right. <laughs> so now I'm getting to do you do you want to know who took the survey? I don't mean did Allison take the survey? Did Andrew take the survey? I want to know. Do you want to know? Have you gotten a relatively representative sample of your community? Mm-hmm. Or if not, are there any other relevant questions you want to ask? For example, we this what's your income? <laughs> we, well, yeah. so we I can recommend asking no, them, no, no, no. That, that is some as well. Um average use we wanted to know the people that took the survey are they generally library users, right? We asked them mm-hmm. we did that we have the same important question how important is the library to you we already asked that. Yeah. We or or also ask like what other libraries do we use? Like you know, we yeah. wanted to use that kind of information. Yeah. Separately, we also did collect some information on like uh you know age group. So 
Um, because um, for us, the MPLC wanted to make sure we had some representation from uh, young adults, we wanted to make sure that we could say, look, we had X number of responses from young adults. So do you want to know age group? I mean, I'm just asking you. So, no. Well, do you want to know this? How about this? Did you go, did you attend the Russell School? See, I don't think that is nearly as important as, you know, you know, are you have roots in town? You know, are you are your kids going to have use of this building? You know, are your relatives, your young people? You know, to me, that's what because I'm not going to be around. I mean, I'm I'm only here for another twenty or thirty years, and, and I'm gone. And the people who will end up with this are the people who are, you know, can't speak yet or aren't even born. Well, they can't that's be. my sort of thing, but it, you know. Or they'll never see it and they'll only see pictures. But do you want do you want to know? Okay, I'll get play doubles out from here. I'm gonna put the survey up and I send it out. I do my everyone does the magic, we send it to everything we know, Jennifer sends it. We get 364 responses, but we have no idea who, who is responding. We're totally excited because almost everyone is like, let's spend the box. You know, 75% of people say we want to rehabilitate. The other 25% say, let's stay lost, right? You guys are totally set. You bring this to the select board, we're golden. The whole community wants to do this. So they're like, well, okay, we'll take it to town meeting. Then you yeah, to town meeting right. and you are shot down. That's right. Because only young people who don't come to town meeting right. have taken the same survey. Right. <laughs> well, that's, that's the way it works, though. I mean, it doesn't have to. So, yeah. like, you, but we don't, when we go to town meeting, okay, we don't say, okay, young people over here, I want to see how you're voting. <coughs> Old people over here, I want to see how you're voting. What are your chances? So, how do you go to town meeting? Well, I think town meeting people should take the survey. Right? So, but that's right. They're going to be the ones voting. Yeah. But the other thing is to give them the information and say, hey, look, a bunch of people took the survey and can't even vote, and they're young, and they're going to inherit this. So, are you going to discount? Their choice are, and take away. Are they them. going to be, in fact, taking this survey? Yeah, we send it to Hopkins. Absolutely. I'm not going to send it to Hopkins. I'm just asking. I would definitely send it to Hopkins. Why, Hopkins. why would you want to send it to Hopkins? Because those are the people most likely to inherit the building. They're in town. They're, you know, they're. I, mean, they, I, yeah, I, they, I went to the Russell School. I'm still here. There's a bunch of people. I understand that, here. but they may not understand. They might not know a clue, clue about Russell. They just pass it. Well, it be All they do is draw pictures. The art teacher makes them draw pictures. So know. I'm not, I'm not, so we, we can't prevent or, you know, anyone from Hopkins taking it. We can't no, prevent. No, of course them. not. Right. So if they want to send it there, so like you do at the library. My, my, you know, you keep it simple and short as possible and not get too deep into the weeds about the demographics and the income and the, where you're coming from and all that stuff. I don't think that when the planning board, well, I think when the planning board did their update, they may have asked for age. The um, housing survey. I don't think. I don't, all kinds of questions. The housing survey. Yeah. What's your income? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But, well, uh, do we want to have that? I don't think you need to ask. Me. No, I'm only asking about age. Yeah. I, you know. And that. did you go to Russell School? Because I don't want you guys to go. Like potentially have a false sense of security that the town is behind us because the demographic that took your survey is not the well, demographic that's going to be in the town meeting. Well, I think if we send it to town meeting via email, I so, but we don't know if they've taken it. They will. Well, you know, here's oh, the thing. Everybody's in town meeting. The whole town is in town meeting. Oh, absolutely. It's yeah, not I, a representative, I think. No, it is just forgetting. It is. It's not like the, we see the same people every yeah. time when you go to town meeting. Oh, right? Except for except when there's a big issue and there's a big spending thing. Yeah, the library know. and the senior center had 500 people. But yeah. when, when, when we have 100, this could be the same situation. Once people get informed yeah. and involved and invested yeah. in what happens, and then it turns out that, okay, there's a town meeting article to spend a million dollars to keep the building up, you're going to have 300 people at town meeting. You're right, and you guys can email the same people, and maybe yep. everyone said, yes, I have a regular update. Then you email all those people and say, just to let you know, we're 
our article is before town meeting. Please come right. Tuesday night, blah, 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 blah. Right. So, so as far as like the false sense of security, I'm willing to live with that. Okay. Yeah. Because um, it is what it is. I mean, you know, where we are right now is hardly anybody. I get asked all the time, what's going to happen with Russell? I hope they don't tear it down. But that's, and I said, well, what do you know about it? Nothing. Do you know anything about the Nothing. Right. Zero. It's crickets, okay? This is what we're trying well, to if, do. With if it. People can feed information all they want. And, you know, that's how that's how this building got to the state that it's in. Because yeah. of all the information is being spread. Oh, yeah. the building's falling down. The building's falling down. It's like, oh, really? Oh, it's going to cost $20 million. Oh, it's going to cost $20 million. Wow. I think it's important. Like, that's why I'm trying not to shorten those. You know, right. right. I, was, yeah, I'd, I'd rather have more information in the survey about the different options and yes. what they need. Yes. And estimated costs. Yes. That was the other thing. And less about trying to tease out. The demographics or the uh, the background information on those lines. The survey is super short. I was yeah. just asking, do you want to have any of those things? If you don't, and it's fine. You well, want. it's nice. The age group and did you go to Russell School? Yeah, yeah, I think the age group is important, but did you go there? It's not as much. Oh, I'd like to know that. <laughs> Right. Yeah, but it's important. Trivia, but yeah, it's I mean, trivia. honestly, right. did you go there? It doesn't matter because by the time the building picks up, you're not going to be. <laughs> you know? It's been it's been closed since 1996. Well, but it, but it, so I'm going to play devil's advocate again. Like we are not my beliefs, but I'm just like pretending, yeah. you know, sure. I'm with Joyce. So yeah. you you tell me here that you know. Um, Fifty-nine percent of the people say the preserving Russell School is very important to you. It's just the people who went. Their only film is nostalgic about their old home. Yeah, the I, I, I don't. That that's not me. I went there, but I went to I went to upper school too. But I'm just saying. I'm, I'm saying if you collect that data, yeah. then maybe you'll find out that like yeah. I I love having I like to see that building design because of the building itself, mm -hmm. not because they ever went to school there again. Yes. You know, and it's the only home. architecture like that. Yeah. I mean, there's between the the good one and that's the only architecture we have left. Correct. Right. So it's you beautiful. could say that, you know Allison and Dan take the survey and we both say it's very important to us. Only 50% of those people actually went to Russell School. Just kind of saying, yes, look, there are people who did it when I was in school who think it's important. I, I'm just so saying, you it's going to help your case. So we might not, we might want to keep that question. It's a pretty easy question. Yeah, to answer. I don't know. I'm, 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 I agree against it. Well, I'm not the decider here. Yeah. You guys are the decider. I'm just talking things out. I mean, to me, it's a, in terms of value of that building, regardless of whether you went to the school or not, you might have, you may want to keep it because you have nostalgia, but if you don't, uh, have that nostalgia, there's still an argument to be made that the building was valuable. Correct. I'm just right. I, I, I don't want to if by some chance 60% of the respondents who want to keep the building went there, then that could be turned around and saying, well, it's only those people in the rest of the town don't doesn't care about right, it. Right. And then we'd have to be with that. That's a different fight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, well, but don't we want to know, right? Like, no, I don't know. <laughs> I, I want to know what the community as a whole. Correct. That's but, what I want. Yeah. We, but you know, if sometimes if you if you just look at the community as a whole, you're missing important things. So a real life example of the survey that I have in the field right now, which is a, a we're doing a community like a pulse survey at my uh, institution and like at my at my company, and they're asking about like you know please. Rate your level of agreement with the following statements, and it's like, uh, you know, my compensation is at market value. The <laughs> company values employee satisfaction. I'm satisfied with our benefits. Like, you know, that kind of stuff. One of them is my work for the Spanish one. So I summarized everything. You know, got a little table just like this, and ranked it from like top concern to the bottom concern. And anything that's got twenty percent or more. Of, but that's it. They disagree. I'm tossing it up for like further analysis. Well, lo and behold, once I like analyze everything, workload is not up there. But there's one subset of the company that workload, their complaints about workload are sky high. But if I put everyone together, my CEOs can say, like, workload's not a problem. Why is it fixing? You know, it gets lost in the water. It gets lost in the tunnel. So I'm just saying it gives you more information and it helps you prepare because town meeting is a very specific demographic. 
Yes, I mean, I, I will agree with you there until until there's a hot button issue. Yeah, well, so we make it a hot button issue. Is this a hot button? I don't yeah. know. It's up to you. I mean, it's easy to ask. Well, my birth is certainly not a button. And, well, and the senior center was not a button. Right. Yeah. yeah, I'm very controversial. <laughs> and I, you know, as, as much as I was surprised, um, you know, knowing the, 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 the politics in town and the, the, you know, economic climate and all that, I wasn't surprised. Yeah. Such a, well, yeah, I think it might be interesting to know for us as a committee, but I think in terms of the town deciding what to do, mm -hmm. I don't think it's important. That was her point, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not I'm not even doing research on and slicing and dicing this. I want to I want to get somewhere on this. And we need to get in order to get to the next step. I know I, we I, have I, to I, have I, an I, idea. I, I anticipate Joyce yeah. taking a look at this and saying, how do it's not, you know. Just, just the people who want to us. The same people answering this. So I think yeah. people look, not just these people, that the library is not important to me. And 60% uh, of these people who took the survey never have used the library. <laughs> Including a select person, right? Yeah, I don't know if he did. Yeah. Yes, he did. He's actually been in the library now. We can just, yeah. See what you did? Yeah, I know. <laughs> now we, now we <laughs> well, what? I got the HDU. Oh. I mean, would that be a question for the select board? Like, what information would you want to know? Uh, I well, well, yeah, we have to because <laughs> they have a well, the right? yeah. So, if they have comments about this, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to hear if they say, well, you know what, I don't know about this question. We need to add something about yeah, that. No, sure. fine. That's fine with me. Yeah, I think that, that you know, I doubt it's the last one. I think we'll boil it down and, and, mm -hmm. and distill it down to the point where it's going to be totally pal palatable for all the select board members. And you've asked it in a very useful way. I don't see any problems with the questions that you've asked either, except it's too early. Sure. I've only suggested additional questions that might help add value or to help. Right. Well, what else uh, might you want to ask that, besides? Okay. Right, did you go to Russell School and what is your age? From what's your age? Why don't you put it in there and then we could you can always delete it. We it's could easy. always delete it's it. Right. Right. Let's do that. It's super easy. Yeah. Okay. Do you do you attend town meeting? You attend town meeting. <laughs> uh, the the age of graphic tells you that. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It's true. Proxy. For sure. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have to be you know, no, no, let your the, 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 the more know. questions you ask, here's, here's the thing, another then why I hesitate to put stuff like in that. Because personally, when I fill out a survey, I don't like to see those questions. What the hell do you care what how old I am? Sure. Why is that important? Well, right? it all has to be relevant. You right. Know? And so right. And I know some people just don't like how much, you know, especially the income stuff. Yeah, that's right. right. I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just don't like that. that. Well, I I know. Know. It's still in the age demographic because of the yes. fact of who is going to do the building. And, and you do want to be able to say, we've got response from a wide spot of our community. Yeah, yeah. So age, um, age, and, um, age and uh, attendance. Yeah. That is the equivalent of, you know, how often you use the library. Yeah. To me, yeah. that's the equivalent. Okay. Did you attend or did any of your family members attend? Joyce said, I've been attending. He does not attend. Well, that's fine. Fine. And yeah. that's so not everybody who, you can't assume that just right. because you're a certain age right. or Right. You're going to be. You're going to vote a certain way. Well, right. probably I mean, the older people. This is what's important. It's it's how much is it going to cost the town to put those options. That's really the yeah, bottom and line. You have that. You and that we have it in there. Yeah, you played that. Out there. So much of this is, to me is about proper allocation of CPH funds. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I think this is great. Um, Joyce, you so I guess the goal for the thing Dan, you mentioned, you know, do you want to say, do you want to say something like using CPA funds would not have an impact on your... Uh, I thought about tax. putting that in there, but except it does indirectly. Well, indirectly, but the thing is CPA yeah. anyway. Right. It's exactly. Well, not really. You pay it on your tax bill. You pay it on your tax bill. The thing is... It's a certain percentage of that... that people want to know what, what's CPA. No, that's yeah, another another word. Informational session. Yeah. Separate informational. Yeah, a lot of people don't know what that is. That's right. Well, actually, if you read the Gazette, 
the last few weeks. We will do all of our research because, because they're asking for private, we're asking for CPA money for the church in Northampton, which is privately owned for private development. Uh, they're asking for CPA money to do to renovate one of the East East of schools that are now abandoned for housing. You know, we, there's been a ton of articles about CPA uh, in the Gazette. Now, who reads the Gazette? I don't know. Right, um, well, so, right. And 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 in town meeting here, I mean, we've had ten years of CPA projects coming to town meeting. That's I right. think most people know what's happening. Well, I mean, whether or not I was so. talking to somebody the other day and explaining the whole situation. CPA, what's that? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, we get old enough that would uh, I forget. I understand that a lot of people they just do their job, they get their paycheck, and that's it, you know, and not all of them. Yeah, they're not interested in government. Yeah, I mean that's, that's right. It's what it is. And I, well, wait, thank you. So wait, yeah, I wish I was that simple. So <laughs> the other thing my PhD is a bolt hole digger. <laughs> I, I so, wish that I could okay. leave it at that. So oh, and I, someplace in your email chain, I saw you wondered whether or not you should, um, you would wanted to do a forum. So a forum, oh, right. a forum it, you know, it is a good way to get this information out. We did multiple, multiple forums, including ones that were taped, um, you know, that were then replayed. Um, and I'm, I'm going like this because I'm the only way to give the thing. I yeah. didn't want to see myself on tape afterwards. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a good way to get people in the door. And then you can ask all of them to take the survey while they're there. Right. And also the people say, what the hell does this mean? They can come to the forum and Correct. say, uh, could you explain a little bit about community preservation? Or, or could you uh, about weeks or whatever? Yeah. So I'm mean, when I originally proposed this stuff, I wanted to do a forum and a survey. Yeah, yeah. right. I thought so too. But, yeah. But it, it's like it's it's the correct. If you have the bandwidth, I would recommend yeah. uh, you know recommend it. But if if you don't, you know, well, I'd, be, I'd be happy to. And we talked about this a historical commission about doing a kind of a historical society uh, um, historical commission forum on the Russell. I think once the survey is locked up and we're ready to go on it, we yeah. can schedule a forum. Yeah. You know, in a week. Yeah. I mean I would be happy to do it. You know, we have pictures, we have well, you're good at talking. documents I can talk about so, so I this yeah so so we can um, Alyssa Allison. Oh Alice, I can't read you right yeah my hand already sucked for that. I'll admit that. So you you guys first did your survey, but then as soon as you put it out you had a forum. Or did you have the forum first and then the survey, or what was the? We other actually answer? did two surveys. We had a we and had a well, and we also did a survey on hours when we were trying to decide um, we were going to increase our hours, and we were trying to figure out where to put them. So, so some of this is kind of blending. What hours? The library hours when we were still in the oh, wind. We were going to make your own hours. No, no, no. We got we were trying to library re allocate. Yeah, library hours. We could put in the survey email chain or whatever, or even the survey saying, "Here's the survey. We need. We want to get your input." Uh, we, 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 there will be a, a public yes. meeting, a forum on such and such a date. Correct. That's what I, yeah. Place. If you're going to have a forum, you should pre-plan it so that we can put all the messaging on yeah. at once. It's yeah. 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 But it, but you put the questionnaire out for more than a month. Yeah, our question, uh, our yeah, was survey was out in the month because it was part of our grant process. It had to go at a certain point, and then we had to use it as part of our building program. And then after the building program, then we applied for the grant. Like we, our thing was kind of lockstep. Yeah. So, but this one won't be, and so if we only have the monkey do bad thing for a month. Um, okay, so count that. When do you plan to go to town meeting? In May. In May. No, I have to be in the spring. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you're in May, when is the when are the warrant items due? Month before usually. April. Yeah. Okay. So you need to have everything going for April, right? But you need to know whether or not you think you're going to get support because before you put that warrant in, if you don't know that, you know, then well, you're taking. We don't want to do this in the winter, though. I don't think. So well, ladies, well, we have to do it. I'm just like we helping you count that, right? So you, yeah, exactly. Like, so whenever you guys are ready to go, I'm happy to, you know, as soon as you have the survey monkey, I'll put put it up there and then you can, yeah. if it takes you another month to get buy-in or whatever, it's out there. At least it's created. I don't want to be your bottleneck. 
So we yeah. need permission from the board. Yeah, we have to breach the for that money. For that money. But for the questionnaire. Right. For the 98 dollars I'll pay the ninety nine dollars we have to Is that a conflict of interest? What's that? Is that a conflict of interest? I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. Well, I, I'm just I'm just asking. Yeah. And you go to the select board and ask them for ninety nine dollars. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. I'd rather ask them. For well, that'll be a two hour discussion. Exactly. Right. Right. Ninety nine dollars. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure we can find that. So I think we should go to the select. Get this ready pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. And go to the select board today. Okay. Let's say so October. The next and day. have a forum in in November. Yeah. The next select board meeting where Jane will be the chair is. September 20th. So I think we can aim to present it Definitely. to them. You matter. could totally have this ready by yeah, September, September 20th. Sure. sure. That's, yeah. Yeah. It, it'll take me like an ounce to do this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At least on the online. The paper might take a little bit more, more finessing to like get it up. So the, what's the $99? Paying? Are you paying for your services? You're not paying me. Okay. I'm a top of the citizen. Thank you. <laughs> so what's the $99 for the, for the monkey thing? Or the paper? Monkey. Monkey. But then we need paper too. Honestly, I feel like with paper, we could just do like 25 copies at both places. And if yeah. they run out, then we print more. Again, I got a laser printed a couple yeah. thousand copies in no time. Okay. I got the paper. Okay. okay. It, just, like, it was with the library, it was a requirement of the MBLC to do it on paper for. No, copies. it wasn't. It was a requirement to Tiny. solicit information to, from young people. Okay. And we felt like the best way to get the young way. people to take yeah. it is to ask the teachers. I'm going to give you 10 minutes right now. Here's the survey. Cool. And then whether you're going to do, you can just sit around and look at each other or you can take the damn survey. I would love to have and that. And no one teenagers for their opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to me, it's a, you know, when I was, I'll say, I've said this a billion times and I'll say it again. When I was in Hopkins, they asked me, you know, I was in high school and they asked me if I wanted to be part of long range planning. Mm -hmm. And I kicked myself in the ass for not doing it because 30 years later, you know, we're tearing down buildings yeah. and uh, the historic uh, infrastructure, you know, all of their being sold off, it's been teared down, and it's just a wreck. And I, you know, it's not just me, it's not just my fault, but yes, it is. It, it's, you know, I think of what a difference I could have made if I said yes. Mm -hmm. And there are, there's a few people that, you know, that I went to school with who are still involved in town. Uh, but not men. Uh, Did you go to school with Dwyer? Were you in? Were you guys on the same time? No, no. So I just want to remind all the time we have fifteen minutes left, and we only got to one minute. Sorry. No, no, that's, that's great. I think I think we. This was um, important. Yeah, we made a lot of progress with this, and yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, so just be in touch. Um, I'll just wait for you guys to tell me like what you know if you've got your email and you're so ready we'll, for me to. So we'll be yeah. email. We're we'll, going to do a first cut of the of the uh, what's the survey will look like. Right? Oh, I can't around. do that until I have the survey monkey. Oh, we got we got to we got to do the survey monkey. Yep. So we the, we the, are paring down. The information. Yes, the exactly. So that's that's what we, okay, so we have to do. That. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, okay. yeah. but I can start if you guys like tomorrow get the survey monkey and you know send me the link. I can mock up the survey without all that you know text, and you guys can continue to work on it. I mean, you can't really move forward until after September twentieth anyway. Right. So anything we do before September twentieth is gravy. Okay, yeah. so we're not going to once she does the email, the Gmail. You're not going to go and. and Starting the month's not going to start rolling. No, no. We won't plan you have here. to do that. You have to use your Gmail, no. sign in to no. Survey Monkey, and pay for it. Okay. Right. So what can we do in the meantime? Let's tear say, down that. Tear down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And maybe you know it's a nice text. It's a lot of information. Do you have a place on the website that you could store to point people go here for the more information? For more information. Really. Google Doc thing. So we can assume that uh, yeah, when this gets put on some survey month, mm -hmm. there'll it's, be just a, 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 a create options of however many yep. we have. We'll, 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 we'll like a couple of sentences on each one yes, explain what it yep. means. And then there'll be a matrix. Yes. So so that that might all fit on one page. Yes, that's my goal. Sure. goal is to get yeah. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. don't know how big the matrix is, but we can make it. Yeah, it, oh. I'll figure it out. It's figure it, out. this. Yeah, this is not hard. Okay. It seems like.
confusing now, but yeah. for in my mind, this is not a big okay. deal. We've the other things were much bigger. Yeah. Okay. So what what I'll, I'll do is I'll try I'll take the first crack at, at tearing it down and then we put it on the Google Docs and everybody will be able to kind of uh, go at it or we can just all go at it simultaneously. Yeah, I think we can all the just... problem with the Google Docs thing is to keep do something yeah. and it's changed. Then somebody else comes along and exactly. wipes that out and you never yeah. see all the different versions. Uh, no, that's not true, actually. If you're in the um, edit, the suggesting option, no. which is how I make my edits, so everyone can see what I'm suggesting before it's accepted or denied. Well, who accepts it? Us. We all do. How? You hit the check mark. Well, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to get it. Done. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you guys to You guys are much appreciated. Of course. So I just accept the call. Good luck, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's great. No idea. Okay. Do we have start mouse in the agenda? We do. So I want to, um, because we had the snafu last week with the Zoom. Link, um, we have to recap what we discussed last week so we can approve all of those things. So Larry Tuttle came and we talked about all sorts of different options for stabilizing um, building. Uh, the building and uh, including foundation construction, uh, all sorts of other <laughs> things, um, replacing the roof um, that, $8,000 that uh, was allocated from CPA uh, is gone. Um, Larry was going to provide a rough quote for us for the stabilization, stabilization measures that we um, prioritize. Um, we were going to proceed with um, submitting the CPA, CPA money, which didn't happen or is not going to happen um, because uh, we're telling us we have to put a hold on that. Um, town survey we discussed, and we've discussed that more in greater detail. Um, and we also approved the minutes from 8-1. Anything else to add to that? Well, we should probably include the minutes, because the minutes include all that stuff, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah so we, we, uh, we need one to thing I, I didn't know what Larry's title was. He is the... Um, on call consultant for the municipal building committee. So we need uh, to the put town, that. It's, he's, the town, he's the town's well, on call consultant. Okay. And um, I think he volunteered his time time because I think he's you know he's gobbled up all the money that was allocated for him. And uh, that's why they objected. Huh? Yeah, I think that um, it. Uh, oh, that's probably it. I I don't remember whether or not. The town, the the you know, replenishing that money was uh, approved or mm. removed from the town mm -hmm. warrant. I don't recall, mm -hmm. uh, but I think, I'm pretty sure he's out of some money. Yeah. So what should I say there, um, town consultant? I already. I just it. put on call. Consultant. On call consultant. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. in there. That's good enough. So okay. with that added, um, can we approve? Oh uh, no, I, I got I got some questions on the minutes. Yeah, I don't think we actually said that the on the, on the roof, the metal roof. Yeah, this is what it says. Good. Possibilities for the roof for replacing the slate roof at enormous cost. I don't think we actually said that. Uh, the town has been good. allocating eight thousand dollars. Yes, to repair the slates, and it's no longer working. I don't know. If we, the guy that was sitting here said that. Yeah. I, I don't. Know. I don't know. Should we include those two also, as 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 present? Well, I mean, the well, it's just written wrong. The town approved uh, eight thousand dollars for roof repairs, and I forget what year that was, but the repairs were never done. Okay. So it's not like an ongoing. Allocation. Oh, I, the way he said it, it sounded like. Yearly eight thousand oh, no. dollars was given. Oh no, no, that was and that was asked know. for specifically uh, based on historic. That's that's hair yeah. The DRA report, I think, called Mavens Mohawk, 
says that over the years we spent twenty thousand dollars on it. I have no idea if that's true. That I, sounds about. That right. sounds about the, right. Yeah, yeah. and Gary, we have the eight thousand bucks. That Gary was pretty good at because yeah. because the building was occupied. Yeah. For a while, so he was pretty good at making sure that at least the you know the the leaks that would pop up were taken care of. Yeah. And it was a sizable amount of money. I mean, eight thousand dollars was good enough to do a few repairs. And it's you know mostly insurance driven and and you know. Well, I clearly I, I, remember I, 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 him I, I, saying that eight thousand dollars was allocated every year. It was spent every year. No, for the roof. Not true. No, that's in the, so that. Yeah. Means, I mean, the one thing I would change here instead of saying it's no longer working, is it may not. It may, you know, the, the re repairing the roof may that's not be because that's that's the accurate thing. We don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that repairing that the existing roof is pretty much. Um, yeah, we talked about the nails being interior with the flag. Yeah, that's I mean, it's, it's a the thing is that slate roof is about a hundred year roof. What it's nailed to is about a seventy yeah. year, uh, in, you know, the structure. So what it's nailed to is pretty much shot, and that part needs to be replaced as well as it. So uh, a total replacement at this point. Is, right. Right. Uh, okay. Well, I, mean, I did write this down: eight thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars a year for repairs. And it, it uh, I, I wrote that down. So well, said here's it. another thing that I could definitely tell you is wrong. Yeah. It says Alan suggested taking quotes for the four repairs to the Community Preservation Act Committee with updated figures. What I suggested well, I is, suggested that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you don't have quotes. <laughs> what I suggested was uh, requested that we submit that we request funds for the repairs for the four repairs. Right. Right. We take the request to the community president. We don't have the only quotes, quotes we have. Correct. We, we have don't. estimates. Do yeah. you oh, estimates. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is huge. All right. And we don't have Yes, it. I understand that. Okay. okay. So, so it should say Alan suggests that taking estimates for both repairs committee with updated figures. Well, to the so, well to what the we're going to do is we're going to submit a request to the CPC for funds. Okay. Using those estimates. I have a question. Oh, Sorry, hi. guys. I hi. Yeah, I've been listening. It's just a lot's going on. So, um, I guess my question it's it's Dragon is how much are people really going to pick this? Pick out our wording of the minutes. Well, they need to be accurate. Uh, you know, if there's some amendments to the meeting minutes, we certainly need to make sure that that's noted before. No, we... and I, I get that. I guess I'm wondering if in the future, if individuals can put forward their amendments to the meeting minutes. That's a good idea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Before the meeting. And yes, yeah. I would appreciate it if you guys would email me and say, yeah. this, this isn't right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Or just make no. And then that way, that's not discussion. Correct. If it's one way, just info. Yes, agree. Thank you. Anything else that's wrong? Oh. Or you want to email me? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Should so we, I make those changes and then? We could go ahead and make those changes now to approve them. Um, okay. okay. So. I make a motion to change the change. Okay. But I need to know exactly what we want to say. Alan what? suggested taking. Uh, Alan suggested submitting, submitting requests for the four repairs. Submitting requests. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, request for for, for funding requests. of the four repairs to the Community Preservation Act Committee. Thank you. Okay, and then the other one was updated. So oh, then, and yeah, and then. I'm sorry. The reason I think this is important is because if a select board reads these yeah. minutes mm -hmm. and we're saying things about CPA that we didn't really mean to do, they could get a little upset. Um, so the, the whole business about borrowing funds, we had a long discussion about the bonding. We didn't say we're going to recommend that they did it. We said, enough. but the intent was we'd ask them to consider it. We'd ask them to consider doing the, the bonding if necessary. All right, so what do I need to change? Uh, also, this committee will recommend that CPA. No, we'll request that the CPA consider. Borrowing yeah. funds. Okay. 
And of course, all this is a new point since the select board has told us what yeah, to hold on. So, so it's not going anywhere. <laughs> not going to pass the law. Second. Can I second? Oh, I can't. Yeah, you second. I can't. I can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All in favor of approving the minutes from August 18th. Yes. Carolyn, Dan, Alan, and I all say yes. Emma, do you? Yes. As well, thank you. Um, and then August 1st, the same thing. We approved them last time, but Emma was not here. Do you approve the August 1st minutes? We yes. Didn't have, oh, that's what we didn't, we didn't have. Yeah. 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 So I'm making, thank you. Make a motion to approve them. We're all approved. Okay. Motion yeah. to approve. Great. Great. Um, okay. Thank so, thank yes. Carolyn, for doing this. Yes. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, so CPA submissions on the agenda, obviously we're, we're going to skip over well, that. One thing about that, uh, it's probably too late in the day here and stuff, but I mean, if we're not going to ask for stabilization money for the CPA mm -hmm. this fall, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Presumably there's a possibility that we may ask for it in the spring, depending yeah. on the right. way the form and what everybody feels. Yeah. So that's still on the table, no matter what. Yeah. But wouldn't it be um, beneficial for us to ask for some money from CPA since we don't have any money for total. And I don't know when, when they yeah. would get it other than CPA because that's how we got it in the past. Yeah. If we ask for $30,000, remember I submitted a yeah. proposal for that um, to do three things, okay? One is to take a look at the room, have a little bit of person come in and say, okay, yeah, you definitely need to be placed with it. Here's what a quote is for slate, metal, asphalt, whatever. Yeah. To get a, an updated on the roof. And the other is on the foundation. To get if we need a geotechnical engineer to look at the settling. Yeah. Let's get one. Okay. Because we'll have time to look at that. And because those are the area where questions might come up about why 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 are you doing this? You know, what has to be done specifically. And the third thing is to do is to just have a um, professional services of an architect uh, like Larry or somebody. So uh, I think what we need to do is get the survey out and then see what people say. Yeah, we could ask for the same money for the survey. They, I don't think. Yeah, but it's going to be hundred bucks, right? Yeah, I don't. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm with Alan. I'm willing to just chip in and get her done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I agree. So the question is, if we, if we don't do C if we don't ask for CPA money to, to for professional services now. Yeah. Then in the spring when we go. We will have to be using the old DRA Mohawk mm -hmm. stuff numbers again. We won't have the benefit of updated, uh, updated professional look at things. Right. Uh, I mean, the, and we could I mean you could get a quote. You could go out and get a moving quote if this like will allow us to do it. it. Doesn't cost any money to get a quote or an estimate, um, uh, unless you use a particular person. But if we just ask three realtors. To give us a quote in the room, you can do that. I, I think. Yeah. Um, but also, if we have the survey and eighty percent of the people say to well, us, yeah. yeah, yeah, true. Wonder well, how much it's going to cost to demolish it. Yeah. Well, that's in, that's actually in the, that. that's in the survey. And that, and well, actually, I mean, that we could put that on the questionnaire. It's on, on the list. It's on, on the survey. Uh, the only thing I've been looking at that. Yes. I've been looking at that again. That Eight number. Four. Yeah, I had seven hundred thousand dollars, but I think that's right. I think that's right, but that's based on um, that's based on what it cost to not hook her down, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, plus, uh, there's some information about hazardous waste, and that's a real unknown. I think it might be more, might be safer if we said five hundred thousand rather than seven hundred thousand. So we're not accused of being, you know. I, I was going to go the other way. Yeah, I would too. I mean, yeah, knowing, you know, knowing what happened with the hooker, yeah, but it was knowing big, that this place is even older. Right, and it's bigger, I think. And it's bigger, it's heavier. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, if you want to stick with 700,000, okay, but I just don't feel, I don't feel as comfortable with that number as I do with the other numbers. So should we do higher then? I would not go higher. I would. I would too. A million? I wouldn't go that high, but I, you know, why don't you say between you seven, several hundred thousand? Seven hundred to a million. I think well, just like building costs are way up, demolition costs will be way up. Oh, why don't we say a million? I stick with the seven hundred thousand. Why? 
Because that's going to encourage people. Yeah, I, I don't want to. Open it. I don't want to open us up to the accusation that we're inflating that to make it look like it's okay. the worst <laughs> option. Well, I don't even know where that number came from. No, I, I, I told you, with my 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 number is based on Booker. Yeah, four hundred thousand of us to knock that building down, and then we spent the probably one hundred and twenty thousand dollars as this waste through mediation on yeah. the way. So, okay, so it's, it's a solid at, at five least seven hundred thousand. Right. I, well, I mean, the fact is, when they tore down the hooker, they found a buried house. Now, yeah, that, exactly. that building stands on the site where the old one was that burnt down. So mm -hmm. it's almost There's guaranteed that that's where yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah. It has its ways of looking to me. Yeah. It, okay. gets, it all gets shipped to Minerva. All right. Okay. Scheduling the next meeting. So, why don't we go? Oh, does anybody have any business? <laughs> If, if so, um, too bad. We'll have to talk about it. So, <laughs> September 20th is a select board. So, we yes. need to put it back. Yes. So, two weeks from now is September 12th. Is that all right with you? Monday, guys? September 12th. Take a look here. Great. Then we can finalize the story. I'm open. Yay. That's good for me. Thanks, Emma. Okay. Good. Great. All right. September 12th at 6 30. Thank you so much. Um, a motion to close. Move to move to adjourn. Thank you. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Yep. Yeah. Aye. Aye.